So we had a bit of a nightmare today. Uh, cylinder came in quite banged up, quite worn. They said the suspected uh, piston has come off the end of the rod. Yeah, we confirmed that because the rod came out with the gland nut. But there was no piston on the end of the rod, which is usually a nightmare, which means all sorts of nasty things potentially could have happened with pistons floating or up and down inside the barrel but on closer inspection when looking at the threads threads were virtually unmarked a little bit of remnants of that that green loctite there that masking tape I'll tell you about that in a minute so if you see threads that actually hold the piston on in good condition rather than mangled and banged up and bruised and literally shagged um, there is hope for optimism try the old hook and pull method that didn't work to try and get the piston out of the barrel right. initially we had this barrel vertical up and down with the forklift hoping we could you know drop it onto a piece of wood and get the piston to slowly move down with some jolts and shock loading didn't move so one of the guys goes make a collar so that's what we did we actually found a piece of aluminium it was a little bit sloppy in the barrel I machined the bore with a step so then when it actually goes on onto the piston as we push it down the bore it doesn't slide down the rod so you know the shoulder actually holds it there but because it was sloppy, we machined an O-ring groove to pretty much guarantee that this rod was centralised in the bore. Um, with a little bit of extra, extra security, we actually wrapped some masking tape around there just to make a much firmer fit. If we did have to pull it out and it didn't... <laughs> if we were unsuccessful, we didn't want to leave another piston in there as well. But it actually worked really well. We slid it in, started rotating the other end there, um, and then literally it engaged and screwed on all the way onto the piston. And then we pulled the spacer piston and the original piston out of the bore. So something to think about, guys. If you pull a rod out and the thread isn't undamaged and there aren't bits of bruising and bits of thread and it looks like crap but if it looks awesome and in great condition like that there's a good chance if you use this method to support the rod that you can uh, screw the rod back into the piston and pull it out and that's just what happened it actually came out looking pretty awesome so uh, anyway an idea guys if it's a shorter version yes you can stand everything up vertical and you can lower it down and do it up but on a big long stroke cylinder like this we've got ceiling height and we've got a lot high lift forklift we've got plenty of height but standing that up on that i don't think we would have made it anyway so this worked a treat